Simplicity is so hard, you know, <laughs> like it's, it's not something easy to achieve. It's almost like creating this universal language. When people see something that is simple, it becomes relatively familiar and it's easy to engage with that. But when something that is very simple can create this multiplicity of experiences, then it becomes something that's really rich and powerful. Right outside MPA's public library, it's right in front also of Sarinen's church, so this becomes almost like the central square of Columbus. But I come from a city where all these layers of history are always overlapping, so we always have an iconic building or an important monument. So if you think about it as a subtle intervention, almost like this tiny acupuncture that could activate the public space, it's all about observing those pieces that are already beautiful and are there, rather than trying to make a statement. So it was basically designing the public space to work with the existing geometries, the steps that already exist in the library, to work with them rather than to hide them, and framing the more sculpture and then echoing some of the spaces that are already there, like this tiny bench right here. We tried to make an echo here, and then create this tiny forum here, so maybe you can have a play or a book presentation. So it's creating these little pockets of activity, but also you have this field where you can just relax and sit and enjoy the shade of the trees that are already there. So it's basically creating that, this ground condition, but also like these pockets of activity. The plaza works itself really nicely and you have the church in the front of it, so it's basically just activated. So the, the part that was less activated was this courtyard and the space in between these two buildings. So to me it was important to consider like how these spaces could be repurposed inside the library. So for example, these steps that echo the existing steps, but then when you put them inside you create this tiny forum for children and then you have this skirt bench that creates like this reading room inside this uh, interior courtyard or the curves of the forum can be decomposed into several pieces so you can have two inside the library and just the curved part outside so it's still activating one of the courtyards outside so to me it was important to visit the library how people from all ages from all backgrounds just coexisting in this space and it's not just people going there to find a book, but it really becomes an active public space. So that was the inspiration to do something that would outlast the life of the pavilion and then maybe activate the library in many different ways. And when you're designing a public space, you can almost like try to guess it, but you never know it's going to work until you put it out and people use it. So it, it becomes like an open question and to me that's super interesting. And when people just go out and enjoy the space, that's like this magical moment where you resonate with someone that you don't know. So that's what I'm really excited about, like working public spaces all the time.